Hi friends. Welcome to a new learning video on Pharma Guideline. Today we will know the recovery factor determination of swabs used in cleaning validation. It is necessary to use recovery factor for accurate results in cleaning validation of pharmaceutical manufacturing equipment. Recovery factor is the recovery of swabbed material from the equipment to the solution. When we take a sample from the equipment with the cotton swab, the entire P associated with the equipment is not removed by the swab, and this error of recovery is managed by the recovery factor during the calculations in cleaning validation. A solution of known concentration of API is applied to the stainless steel plate of 10 cm square and allow the plate to air dry. Swab the plate with the cotton swab and dissolve in a suitable diluent. Diluents should be prepared on the basis of the solubility of the active ingredient. Sonicate the cotton swab and diluents for 5 minutes to dissolve the content properly. Make up the solution with the diluents to get the desired concentration as the standard solution is prepared. Mix the solution properly and analyze as per the method of analysis using HPLC, ultraviolet spectrophotometer or titration. Calculate recovery factor by the following recovery factor formula. Suppose the percent recovery of any swab is 80% then recovery factor of that swab shall be 100 divided by 80 is equal to 1.25. Results are multiplied by 1.25 to increase the results by 1.25 times that were lost during the swabbing. Recovery calculation should be done for both chemical and microbiological sampling in the same manner. FDA has suggested determining the percent recovery of contaminants from the equipment surface in cleaning validation guidelines, but the limit of recovery is not written clearly. WHO guidelines also say that there should be evidence of the proper recovery of the samples. According to WHO TRS 937, page number 133, a recovery of greater than 80% is considered good. Remember, determining recovery factors is crucial for effective contamination control and ensuring that cleaning procedures meet regulatory requirements. It provides confidence in the accuracy of residue quantification and strengthens the integrity of your cleaning validation studies. That wraps up our video on the determination of recovery factors for swabs used in cleaning validation. We hope you found this information valuable. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, please let us know in the comments below. Like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video.